Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's streaming evening. How's everyone doing today? Also, of course, as ever, in order. Hello, Hunt. Hello, Belaya. Hello, Brian. Hello, Ray. Hello, Beer Force. Hello, Cassie. Hello, Kebab Thief. Hello, Drevels. And that's the list for the moment. It is excellent to see all of you. Sometimes the good comedian, Lady Cassie, blindsides one's viewers. For truly, there is nothing more funny than the unexpected. Blah. For example, you didn't see that coming, thus you are now laughing. This is how humour is achieved. Okay, back to normal. But yeah, um... I need something to yell at, and thank you for giving me a perfect opening to segue into this. You guys remember when I said yesterday that I was in a shitty mood and couldn't really place why, which was driving me mad, which was leaving me in a slightly shittier mood, which is why I wanted to stream, because streaming is fun and you guys are yay, and yay makes me a little bit less shitty, and thus yay. Well, I'm sorry to report that the shitty mood has persisted. I feel... Tired, listless, bleh, irritable, and frankly want... I don't know what I want, and that's even more annoying. So I'm all over the place right now. So, yeah, I need something to yell at. Thus, Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> but yeah, I hope all of you are doing better than I do. What the crap is this? Okay, that just looks strange. Sorry, I started up Steam and I went to the store page and I just got, not this, but this. I'm a little bit concerned about this face staring at me right now. Just store page. Hi. Who the fuck is that face? Please stop being that face. I mean, the rest of this is fine. Except this. This is definitely good. I don't even know what it is, but it's got a dragon, so it's good. This I couldn't care less about, but... This? Why is this man star staring at me? I want this man to stop that. It's a little bit concerning to me. That game is rather terrible? Ah. You mean the dragon game? I have to admit, it looks like a game from the early 2000s. Well, that'd be because it is. That's obviously, and he died. See, now I feel like an asshole for what I said, although I still think that store page thumbnail is a bit concerning. But yeah, please stop hawking this shit at me. I know why. But why does this shit still sell? <laughs> oh good, or this shit. Valheim is a great game. I have been told that it's pretty good. Oh, one moment. Let me preempt Smiley having a seizure. There you go. The messages are gone. Now. I believe this is a thing. Um, a quick note on tonight, by the way. Football Manager is a better game than FIFA. It's still a football game. I'm very glad that there are people who enjoy them. I am not they. Whether it is real life football or a football game. No thank you. Ever. <laughs> it's a simulation game rather than actually playing it. If... <laughs> If we wanted, if I wanted to play a simulation game, I'd play War for the Overworld. 
or Dungeons 3, or Evil Genius 2. If I wanted to simulate football, I'd go kick a ball, feel like a twit, and then sit down again. I know I'm being unnecessarily harsh, but I'm sorry it will never be my thing. Whether it's simulation football or actual football, no thank you. I prefer my fantasy, and I prefer my VG games. <laughs> Plus, what football game uh, relentlessly allows you to exploit the countries that are hosting you for whatever match you've got? If they don't do that, then it's not really a simulation. Me? Going too far? Nah. Just play football in a Digimon game. I'd rather play ice hockey in a Spyro game, and I hated it there too. What's Digimon? It's basically hashtag not Pokemon. No, I don't know much about it other than that it ends in Mon. <laughs> A nice one, Tank. Also, thank you for the host and hello. It's not inaccurate, maybe. That cleared up nothing. Oh, right, it actually stands for Digital Monsters. Whereas Pokemon stands for pocket monsters, even though the Pokeballs hang on belts. So they're belt monsters. Thank you, Perfect Cell. Uh, sorry. Anyway, um, a quick disclaimer for tonight's stream. Because I am so mentally at loose end... I do want to ask, specifically my mods, but also those who know me well, just keep an eye out. Me ranting angrily at Final Fantasy VIII's story is nothing new, but if the stream is threatening to turn into basically a rage fest, me just being pissed off at anything and everything and anyone and any, any, everyone, try to pull me up short, because I'm not sure if I'll notice it myself, and I don't want to ruin uh, everyone else's day. Just mine. You need a has an exclamation mark rage alert command. For example, you need to go check the potatoes in the oven. That preemptively sounds like a dish I would like. I just... I do want to stream. I do want to enjoy myself. But I don't want my mood to put a negative mark on the entire streaming experience, Gazzy. That's the main thing I uh, want to be careful for. Also, I have not had time or the chance to play the Chocobo World minigame, so I am afraid that there is still no minimog. I will try to get that done ASAP, but I just haven't had a chance. Also, let me get the walkthrough. Uh, there we are. Put it here, and there we are. Yes. Now, if memory serves, we had done most of the side quests that I could, except for the Poo Poo Alien side quest. What type of... Denim, denim, den. I don't get it. Seriously, I am drawing a complete blank here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yes, sure, thank you, Final Fantasy VIII. Alt-tab every single one of the windows that I need and maximize a different browser window that I don't need. Appreciate it. One moment. You can fit it in a part of the background music. Denim, denim, denim. God damn it. That says Square Electronic Arts. Come again. One moment. Now done. Oh, there it is. Huh. 
I guess that name got canned after the original PC release. Wrong fair. No. Right. There! <laughs> Enjoy your food, Hunt. Now, when last we left off, um, we had done most of the side quest. We'd done most of the side quests that I could find. The Final Fantasy VIII Square hadn't done this. I know, but the Electronic Arts, uh, the Square Electronic Arts LLC is a weird label. Uh, it's not Windows. It's, um, frankly, me always forgetting the setup for the controller uh, for uh, Final Fantasy VIII PC. Because the original Final Fantasy VIII PC is very, very, very shittily ported for controllers uh, controls. I accidentally tapped the uh, gigantic touchpad on the PS4 controller, which essentially acts as a mouse cursor. So it basically went, you click out window! So it minimized everything. That is because this game's controller settings are kind of wank. That's less windows and more this game sports. <laughs> Sorry, Katty, but it's true. However much you might like Final Fantasy VIII, this game's port is wank. I am glad that they did the remaster, because that port is... It has its issues, but it is significantly better than this, one, this port. I mean, the fact that you have to mod in the original soundtrack. Christ almighty, Square, couldn't you have been any lazier? <clears throat> now... Um, as said, I've done all the side quests I could, with the exception of the uh, Poo Poo Alien side quest, because firstly, I can't get all the spots yet, and secondly, I don't have access to encounter none, uh, which would make it almost impossible to complete, because I would run into about 5,000 regular fights before I ran into the uh, unique encounter that I can. With encounter none, only the unique encounter can spawn. So I'm leaving that side quest for the time being, or... Potentially forever if I never get the side quest. Uh, never get the ability encounter none, I'm afraid. And then we went to Balam, found out that Galbadia Garden, oh wonder, oh surprise, oh coincidence, was also a floating goddamn city. Um, and was trying to invade and burn down Balam. We took out Fujin and Raijin, which somehow was enough reason for the entire Galbadian army to withdraw. <laughs> I never thought about that, and I am now very confused. Why did they all leave? Seriously, they had a fucking stranglehold on the town. We punched up Fujin and Raijin, and they all leave, including their floating base. Cassie, explain. Thank you. <laughs> I stand by that question. I never even thought about it, but now I think about it. That's weird. <laughs> Admittedly, the entire reason for the Galbadian army to do anything at the moment is weird, but, you know. You'd, you'd think that if they have the stranglehold on this town, why would they leave? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. The game is very subtly implying that I found Giselle's mom's poor mag, and I am very sorry about that. Leaving. Welcome back, Zell. I hope you're all right. Riveting conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose I've reached the point where next stop is 
basically we need to go satisfy Selfie's curiosity. Because she really, really wants to go to Trabia Garden. Because while we managed to stop the missiles that hit Balam Garden, Trabia Garden, as the only garden of the three, probably did not have the luck to be a mo mobile fortified anti-missile base. So it kind of probably got roughly fucked over. So that's our next stop. Also, I'm going to go a little bit faster through the game now because I realized the other day that I've been at this for quite a long time and there's a lot of story left. That's not necessarily bad, but I feel like we should probably speed it up at least a little. Welcome to the other happiest place on Earth. Of course, given the um, metallic ring that you can still see partly floating over uh, the remains of Trabia Garden, it's entirely possible that this was also going to be able to be a flying mi missile base, but they just didn't see the missiles coming in time and got a direct hit. Which makes it even suckier to be them. Oh well. Hey Selfie. Yeah, this place is shit now. A direct hit? Man, this really pisses me off. Also, can I just... I'm going in! Can I just ask, by the way... Be careful. One moment. I will ask after the conversation ends. Can I still leave? Damn. Essentially, what I wanted to ask is... Where does Trabia Garden get its students? Because... The only settlement anywhere near here is Shoot Me Village. Nobody seems to live on this entire continent until you reach Esthar. Where, when you get right down to it, do the people come from? I'll leave you to stew on that whilst I climb this net. And the music very abruptly cuts off. They just breed in the schools itself. <laughs> Quiet. My dude! Why isn't Selfie here? She's right back there! Hmm? I thought Selfie was with you. I swear to God, Questis. Selfie... <sighs> I let her go on ahead. I bet you she's in shock. Come on, let's go after her. Self is in shock, I'm sure of it. She's not herself. Have you noticed, my dude? I'm my dude. I don't notice things. That sounds like frivolous, uh, wasteful activity. So this is where Selfie grew up? I'm sure she wanted to come by sooner. It wasn't actually blown up originally, Renoa, just in case. To think that Balam Garden might have ended up like this. Thank goodness we were able to avoid the missiles. <laughs> I think I'll pass, but thank you. So, you've been looking after Selfie? Selfie's been a great help. Ah! What's wrong? That's not like my dude at all! <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever. Now, if memory serves... I'm so glad I saw a Selfie. I feel a lot more cheerful after talking to her. 
Bitch, you have a rare card. Play card. There should be a basketball court in the back. W wait for me there, okay? I want to go catch up with some of my friends. Young lad, what was your name and number again? Have you done a good deed for your academy, Trabia Garden? A good deed, you ask? It's to help rebuild this place. Let's see. For example, have you donated to the Trabia Fund? I'll give you an A. Um, while I understand that dire necessity and all that, it feels like this should get you fired, sir. I don't think schools are allowed to teach naked bribery. On the other hand, we are mercenary schools, so, you know. Also, now that I look at it, would you like to add some more to the Squall is Dead theory, Gazzy? Because that looks a lot like Squall's jacket. <laughs> As in, a lot, a lot. No, there is no water here. Look at the ground here. This place is very arid. Mint in Yorkshire pudding with roast potatoes. Not bad. Enjoy. <laughs> I think Matty would be about to say what the fuck to that, Gazzy. But yeah, that that's basically Squall's jacket over there. And I know the developers have already said that no, the Squall is dead theory is bollocks, but it's fun to theorize. <laughs> I'm assuming because of the football kebab thief? Yeah, I figured. On that note, by the way, to anyone who is currently in England or surroundings, I hope you enjoy slash survive the coming storm. I mean, it really depends on if you like or dislike football, let's be entirely honest here. Also, I seem to remember there being an item here. Maybe it's not spawned. It really depends on if you like or dislike football, Matty. If you dislike football, it's going to be hell. <laughs> we carried the injured ones out in the car. Me? Nah, not hurt. I'm just sick. I'm exhausted from tending to our way. Oh, I got demoted. That Tombury King! Take this, GF7! Yes. Or in Wembley, because that's where it's being played, isn't it? Look, look! I found an old book underneath the rubble. Maybe there's something writing that tells of a secret treasure. Like how many steps from Trabia Garden's gargoyle statue, that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. This is someone's diary. Then put it down, you... Go south five steps from Trabia Garden's gargoyle statue? No way, are you serious? I think the item will have spawned now. Okay, let's do our best to calculate our food and daily supplies. The calculator's broken too, so we have to be extra careful. Quiet. Leave this baby to me. I'll have it up and running in no time. With a tech squad. Uh, hey, who are you guys? We're trying to be a gun tech squad. We all divide it up into different squads to utilize each of our specialties. 
Fun fact about this, you can get the computer to run briefly. One of a guy with a firework stuck in his ass. This needs to be vastly more alcoholic. Oh, is it up? Well, I think so. One personal data bank. Fun fact here, you can very briefly see Selfie's pro profile here. See? And then it's gone. Oh no! Selfie, can you forgive us? Why? Why are you apologizing? That teddy bear you gave me, I can save it! I can hear him crying. He's lonely! Whoa. My teddy bear's a lot stronger than you think. As long as you're all safe, Mr. Bear's very happy. You're talking to them like they're, what, four? They look like they're in their early teens. What the f is wrong with these children? Oh, wait, they're talking to Selfie. Never mind. Yep. 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 <laughs> Mr. Bear's watching over you secretly. So don't be naughty or sad all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know, the best resolution to being sad. Just don't! Selfie, I want to smack you right now. <laughs> Just remember, Mr. Bear is watching you. Okay, I, I promise to be good. Uh, tell Mr. Bear I won't be sad or cry all the time, okay? Thanks, Selfie. Sorry, I'll be there in a sec. Wait by the basketball court, okay? Oh, still same uh, mumblings. There she is. Selfie? Oh, she's by the cemetery. I didn't want her to feel sad, but... I don't want to play cards against you. Amidst the ruins of your own civilization, why are you being so stubborn about not playing cards? Ah, there it is. That's the treasure that was alluded to. I... I did it, everyone. I know the stage got destroyed, but I performed my dream band. I was able to carry out my dream. I remember how we promised that we'd do something memorable for ourselves? I remember my performance, our performance we were supposed to do? You all saw me, right? You heard me? I'll keep playing for however, however long it takes for you to hear. Our dream is much bigger and better than before. See, however much I take the piss out of the game story, moments like these are very well done. And I think it's an even better idea to actually not allow you to speak to Selfie here. But I can imagine Selfie just getting up and uh, going, Oh, hi Squall! Look, this is your tombstone! Tee hee! Oh dear. 
Yeah, I'm staying out of that one for the time being because that sounds like a powder keg tweet. Mental, but definitely a powder keg. And do I want to know, Caravader? Jim's getting cold out. Perhaps that'll be a gift from the fairies on a day like this. If it's Elfie you're looking for, she said she'll be at the basketball court. Fair enough, but I will admit that I am now vaguely curious. We were just talking about who would have won the Travia basketball tournament if we had played. Because of the stupid missiles. I'm telling you, the Mog Mog Moogle team will make it. And they'll probably play the Mark Chocobos in the finals. There you go. Your pronunciation is all wrong. It's Chocobos, not Chacobos. It's Chocobos. Oh dear. You know what, Caravader? Send me a DM because I want to know now. Well, this season the Moomba Samba team has a great lineup. My dream is to play for the Mark Chocobos. Well, good for you, kid. Gee, I wish the faculty was a little more reliable. What do they expect the student body committee to do under these conditions? I don't know. Also, is it bad of me that I was kind of hoping that this draw point would contain either apocalypse or catastrophe? <laughs> Am I a horrible person? <laughs> Or just the end. We have to remove this missile as soon as possible. It is definitely emanating a pretty mean aura. There's no more threat of an explosion, but if it falls over, it could crush someone. Sorry about that. And thus, my natural curiosity has been curbed. And curb stomped. Yeah, yes, I know. It's entirely on me. I am not holding you accountable, Care Vader. No, there's actually a Timber Maniacs issue in the cemetery. One moment, need to go grave robbing. Also, I just realised something. In the background there, you can just barely see fencing. How big is this garden, really? This place had, le had larger grounds than bloody Balam. I don't suppose you want to play cards now? Oh, of course you don't. To be honest, Revels, in terms of in-game representation, it definitely is. Trabia clearly has a lot more space to it, but you can't visit it because it got blown the fuck up. Galbadia has about five million classrooms and corridors, all basically driven to, drawn together by MC Escher. And Balam Garden is also one ring with a cafeteria, training grounds, and a single classroom. <laughs> I mean, I know we don't get to see all of Balam Garden either, but it seems to be the smallest. Right. It is time for... And I'm sorry to say this... What I consider to be one of the most asininely idiotic story beats in all of Final Fantasy VIII. And given how many I've already ranted about... <laughs> Nor got cold feet on the building bill. 
<laughs> I suppose that was why he was sitting in his personal jacuzzi for the entire boss fight, wasn't it? Enjoy your food, finally, Dan Hunt. We're leaving as soon as Selfie comes back. We're on standby till then. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her and... You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. Did it hurt? I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Good for you. Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody explains it either. Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? Yeah. wonder if she was living a normal life before all of this. No. Why the search for alone? Alone? Inviting my dude back to the past? Whereas the sorceress searches for it? Could it be the sorceress is trying to make that journey into the past too? I've got to do something to show that Selfie can depend on me! Please stop doing anything. Thank you. You're supposed to throw them. It's a basketball, not a football. Sorry to keep you waiting! Thanks so much for coming all the way out here, everyone. Cheer up, eh? It's only the place you grew up in that got dive-bombed, right, Irvine? Thanks. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I want to get even. I want my revenge! See, that's more like it. Um... Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? Now you're sounding like the mayor of Fisherman's Horizon. You know, to avoid any bloodshed. She's basically throwing the entire Galbadian army at us. The answer is no. We're killing them. Yo, what the? What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What are you getting at? Someone can come up so it was something that would be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared, uneasy. All they do is complain. They just pretend to be thinking. So, we have Renoa who went from a terrorist cell, uh, part of a terrorist cell to being a idealist, to Squall being the absolute nihilist of the group. Cool. <laughs> Criticize others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Mistake, why all of this all of a sudden? What do you expect from me? The world, apparently. I grew up in garden. I'm a seed. Do you understand? What I understand is that you need to stop talking to yourself because literally nobody can follow your internal monologue! My dude? You have to voice your feelings or else I won't understand. And you are not my therapist. You were part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who were all talk, you took to your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this? What happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. Sometimes when I'm with all of you... I feel like we're on the same wavelength. You yeah, know? Shut up, Fujin. But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up, and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. No. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that... Mistake, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. 
It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so. Okay, here we go. I was in an orphanage. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorcerer's War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. Ruby, wanna play? Oh god, I need to do child voices. I really like this girl. It made me so happy just talking to her. Miss Effie, what you playing? Sadly, I can see this being selfie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Was that often a, a stone house? Which is, you know, unlike any other building in the world. You guessed it. An old house made of stone by the ocean. Like the entirety of Balam, Questis, you're still not being very specific. <laughs> Jesus, Cassie. <It, laughs> because Laguna left Windhill. After impregnating Rain, enjoyed that mental image, I certainly didn't, and then Rain died at the end of the Sorcerer's War. And since Laguna was already long gone, because he's a deadbeat moron, I'm taking the piss, Ray, don't worry, I'm not that much of an asshole. He got sent to an orphanage. That one I can actually explain. I knew right away when we first met. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yeah, why didn't you tell us? Because you two seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Seffy and bossy little Quisty. That is just so weird. Hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? That was... This way! So yeah, it turns out that everyone happened to grow up together in the same orphanage by sheer coincidence. This incidentally includes what we're about to find out. Cypher and the Sorceress Adia and Squall, and alone, but everyone somehow managed to forget because the GF live in our brain and eat our memories. That's their explanation. Could you have made this game any more stupidly dependent on the power of coincidence? This doesn't even feel like we were destined to work together, it was just a case of, yes, we all knew each other when we were young. What was the point to this, other than making me think, Jesus Christ, how painfully contrived? This story beat genuinely annoys me, because this is something that the story keeps relying on. Basically, the power of massive coincidence to drive the plot forward. This whole orphanage bit is absolutely asinine, and the way they made everyone s forget is even more so. Hey, look. Madron, sit in there! Where's this?
Italian anthem is so jauntily cheery. Oh, football. Also, it looks a little bit less than a stone, like a stone house, and a little more than like a temple to Aphrodite or something. Says Al. Ooh, revelation. Stories that exactly coincidence is a powerful factor, sure, but at some point. It just breaks all kinds of disbelief. Sid being the priest and Adia being the oracle. Yeah. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. That's you, Squall. Stop taking the piss out of you. Actually, no, keep going. How about this? Yeah! The ocean, the lighthouse! We did set off fireworks. Yo! Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks! Oh, come on, losing a finger is educational, Zell. I'm telling! I'm gonna tell on you! You know, I understand now why Zell keeps getting bullied. Of course, now I have to voice act annoying young Cypher. Cry baby girl, go back to bed! I remember this, does that mean I was there too? No, Zell, you're just hallucinating. I mean... <laughs> what kind of question is that? Hey, I remember the same thing that you all remember. I wonder if that means that it was something that I remember too. We all got in big trouble. Then, uh, what about my parents and Balam? You're adopted! I mean, it's true. The dentist in Balam's must have adopted you. Yeah, that's probably it. I was here. Oh, come on, stop it! Make it now! Or something. It's amazing how Cypher even looks like a smug, self satisfied little shit when he's a tiny child. Nothing else they succeeded in that with his character model. Who's that? Who do you think, Selfie? I'm not even going to voice this because it would really worsen my headache. Actually, na 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 na. Sorry. Stop teasing me, Cypher! Oh my goodness. Cypher. My arch enemy! No. Wow, he was there too! Well. Cypher. Cypher was always Cypher. They just said um, Zell's parents must have adopted him at some point. Zell, always crying and screaming. Have I? <clears throat> Sorry, don't remember you. Ow! Questus, I think you were difficult to deal with. Selfie, always full of energy. Also, by the way, that torch seems very unsafe to have near children. Cypher was there too. Except for mistake, they were all there. Hey, that means... Oh, you're kidding me. Seriously? Holy shit, I can actually hear people outside. Well, best of luck. Uh, 
Uh, it's the European Championship Finals, Brian. Um, Italy versus England, I think. That means... Yeah. I was there too. I... Yes. I was always waiting for Sis to come back. I'm all alone. I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, Sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. <laughs> I didn't turn out okay at all. Sis L. Alone. So alone was Sis. She was a bit older than us, and we all used to call her Sis. Quest is Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Cypher, Alone, and myself. Yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is. Contrived storytelling! But we were definitely together. You mean Sis is alone? Yes, that is what he just said. She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. Now, I know he's a bit womanly, but that's pushing it, Selfie. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely up for helping her. Hi, Stripes. <laughs> She's part of our orphanage gang. You didn't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. It's pretty scary we've forgotten all these things. <sighs> so, Mom and Pa are my real parents. Never mind the fact that we never meet your father. I wonder where the orphanage is. Hmm, so Sis was alone, eh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, my dude, you kept hogging her for yourself. You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. I mean, at, at least he's honest about himself. <laughs> Probably the same with Cypher, too. Oh, I think... Is that Quistus talking, maybe? Because this does not sound like the way Squall would phrase it. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him, either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Trabia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys. It's so odd that you would forget. I remember. Yeah, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home. So I came to garden at the age of ten. That's when I was when I first noticed Cypher and my dude. Cypher and my dude were always fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Quist is always used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the centre of attention, but my dude always used to ignore him. Eventually, they'd end up fighting. <laughs> my dude could have easily walked away from it, but he always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but my dude, almost in tears, would say... I gotta do my best by myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. Good imitation, Questus. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, alone's place. <laughs> I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about my dude. Uh, I thought it was love. I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor, but I've come to realize it wasn't. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Oh well. 
Okay, you know what? I am now going to be curious enough to wonder what's going on. I misunderstood love. I actually had completely given up when Miss Tate came into the picture. Hey! It must be the same for Cypher! I'm sure Cypher's forgotten his childhood too! Uh, whenever he sees my dude, his inner feelings start to boil and... That why he's always picking fights with my dude? No, that's because he's a complete cretin. Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids, how's that possible? Because contrived writing. How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. The GF provides us its power. But the GF makes its own place inside our brain. So you're saying that the area is where our memories are stored? If that's the case, then how the fuck are we getting our memories back, Irvine? Because if they ate our memories, they would be gone. I'm fine. No, oh, that's just a rumor the GF critics are spreading. Maybe the GF critics have a point and Balam Garden is wildly fucking irresponsible. Wouldn't be the first time. So if we keep re relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. Yes, because he's provably reliable and sensible and... Oh dear. Then how is it that I remember while everyone else has forgotten? Well, in my case, I hadn't junctioned a GF until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the GF was when you came to Balham Garden, right? Yeah. We gave up our memories in exchange for power. Is it because of the GF that we forget? Is that why other forces refrain from using GF? There are some things we're better off not remembering. Especially when your life revolves around battles. I have a confession to make. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training session. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I junctioned that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. So why didn't you keep it? Why did you not bring it with you so we now have another GF for the party? You waste of oxygen. It's really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? Uh, Final Fantasy VIII's GF system is completely separate from Final Fantasy VII summoning and all that. Despite sharing a couple of uh, names and looks between GFs and summons, uh, the systems and worlds are completely different. I repeat, the systems and worlds are completely different. There is no real connecting tissue between them other than a couple of overarching elements like Moogles and Chocobos. Final Fantasy VII's world is a completely different world with its own rule set compared to the world of Final Fantasy VIII. Or, indeed, Final Fantasy X, or Final Fantasy IX, or any of the other Final Fantasies, unless they're a d direct sequel to them. So Final Fantasy X II has the same rules as Final Fantasy X, because it's literally the same world and the same story. Sure, some complete fuck nugget at Final Fantasy X-2's writing team decided, we need to connect the worlds of Final Fantasy X and VII, but that's mostly because that person needs a slap. That makes it even more illogical. No, not really. Just consider each Final Fantasy a standalone story on its own world. The end. That's literally the way to look at it. What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So what do you want to do? You want to stop using GF now? 
As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the GF. No, not really, because every COD game takes place on Earth. And even there, there are still sub-series sub in the COD games that are completely separate from other sub-series in the COD games. So, you know, yeah, some of them do play in a completely separate world. It might still be on Earth, but it has its own goddamn rules. So, you know... Actually, yes, that is what I am saying, because that is kind of what a lot of the COD games do. Sure, some of them are direct sequels to the other, to each other, but not all of them. Basically, if you really want to separate it in your mind, this is Final Fantasy Black Ops, and Final Fantasy VII was Final Fantasy Modern Warfare. Different storyline, different world. Done. Yeah, exactly, Valara. This is a completely different world. It has its own rule set, its own storyline. It's just a different story. Sure, they carry the label of Final Fantasy, but that's essentially it. Hey, I know. Let's all keep a diary. That way we'll always have something to remind us. Thanks, Alfie. You're a helper. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I don't care if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. But I can't afford to lose the memory of when I first saw a boob at camp! Anyway. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents in Balam. <laughs> I am not sorry, Catty. I'm voicing Z Zell here. I never saw one at camp. I don't think I ever went at camp. To camp. On camp? Hey. Do you all remember Matron? It was always wearing black. Matron. Dressed in black. She's the... Black Sabbath. Anyway. Very kind, long black hair. Yeah, I really admired her. I see a resemblance. Matron, they look alike. Wait, I just pictured her face and... Look alike? <laughs> no, nah, that's not it. Matron's name is Idea Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Idea. So basically, we all were tied together, and it was all a massive coincidence that we all went to the same orphanage together. Said orphanage, incidentally, on a continent where there are no other habitations, no cities, no towns, nothing. But coincidentally, we all happened to grow up together in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, with the primary antagonist of most of the story. Quel coincidence! Fuck off. This entire story beat in Final Fantasy VIII genuinely gets on my nerves. It is so incredibly forcibly going, Oh, we need almost everyone to have a connection to Sorcerer's Idea. I know! What if they all went to school together? No, no, that would be silly. They're already going to school. Okay, then they all grew up as orphans. <laughs> Why is the matron... Why? <laughs> You're wondering why Matron would take over a country or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. <laughs> well done, Caddy. You're probably right. Hear me out. Seed and Garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not a Seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorcerers, right? This is strange. That's 
right, it was when I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know what seed was. Matron should know. Matron is Sorceress Adia, there's no denying that. What does this all mean? My dude, you listening? Yes, he's just having an internal monologue, Irvine, don't worry about it. So, like, stop that. This is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh, yeah! Did you actually forget the thing that you wanted to say, Irvine? I understand what Mistake's saying. I understand. But still, I'm gonna fight. I want to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we'd have to face Matron. You've all heard this before. Our life has infinite possibilities. Which, incidentally, is still one of the best tracks from Sonic Unleashed. Did you ever get round to listening to the rest of that concert, by the way, Cassie? I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there'd only be one. From the limited possibilities I face, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. Sorry, did you choose the path or were you forced down it, Irvine? Pick one! I know our opponent is Matron, that we all love very much. We literally didn't remember until five minutes ago. We don't love her. We might lose something very important on account of the GF. But I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. Well, if the tides of fate are out, then this is all one massive stupid coincidence. I'm here because I chose to be here. Or rather, I was forced to be here because fate only had one path in me. What, what was I talking about again? I'm kind of lost. And more importantly, we all grew up together! But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. Yes, we were all separated, with the exception of four of us who went to the same garden, a fifth who was uh, transferred to the same garden. Um, oh, wait. As a kid, you can really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow we're together again. Just like old times, though, lots changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight, Matron, or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. At least it'll keep us together a little longer. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We can't run from her for the rest of our lives. It's just such a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Oh, sorry to hear that, Kabanthi. Mistake. It's up to you. We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. Look, look! It's snowing at the exact right time for... Dramatic pathos, I suppose. A gift from the fairies. It's snow, Selfie. Yo, you want to go check out Adia's orphanage? I wonder what it's like now. Shit. I might find a clue. Clue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? Probably has to do with something that happened in the past, but... The past is the past. It's over. Done with. Can I introduce you to the rest of this storyline, Squall? Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's head for Idia's house.
Yeah, I mean, that's that's just added on top, right? Guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. If you think to already become lost, I think that's what everyone's afraid of. Could you stop your internal monologue? Just talk to people. I wish we didn't have to fight either. No, um, Laguna wanted to bone Renoa's mother, but, um, was sent off to a war in Bumfuck Nowhere before he got the chance, and Renoa's mother got together with a general in the Galbadian army, specifically General Carraway, who we met, uh, much earlier in the city of Galbadia. Then Laguna got injured like hell in that war, ended up in Windhill, and got with Rain instead, who he did bone, and the result was Squall. So no, they are not related by blood. Just by painful coincidence storyline. But yeah, I would like to point out, this is Trabia Gardens location. God fucking misclick. My bad, that's on me. There are no settlements anywhere on this entire half continent. This is the nearest settlement, and I sure as hell didn't see any fucking shoe-me in goddamn Trabia Garden. Where are these people getting their students? The nearest settlement is goddamn Chocobo Forest! And Balam Garden, but they have their own local school, which is currently right here, but still! I think... <laughs> Fair point, Kevin. I think that's one of the things why this world never really appealed to me. I know, Drevels, but... <sighs> and now I lost chat. The problem is simply... I know that, sure, there may be villages and towns around here that we don't get shown. But unlike in Final Fantasy VII... It doesn't feel like there is. This world feels very empty, very blank, to me at least. This never felt like a logical place, place to have a school. And it is essentially in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It has no connections to any of the other nations. It has no way to get off this continent that we can see. I know that there might be ways, but we don't get to see any of them. At least Balam Garden is near a relatively major town, Balam's itself. Same for Galbadia, it's relatively near Delling City, the capital of the Galbanian Empire. But even there, the world feels kind of flat to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me being me. Maybe I'm hyper overthinking it, but... I've never felt it very logical. I've never felt this world to... make sense. Don't you turn into a flat earther. Not what I meant and you know it and please don't insult my intelligence. I mean, if we really want to add to it, and let's turn on high speed mode because I am not flying this slowly for the rest of the game. Let's quickly go to Idea's Orphanage. Because Idea's Orphanage... Oh, and Galbadia Garden right now. Uh, one moment, I'm losing my bearings. There. This is where Idea's Orphanage is. This entire continent is said to have been abandoned after essentially a cataclysmic event landed more or less right fucking here. The Lunar Cry. This is also where Lunatic Pandora was dug up. 
This continent is an actual wasteland. Why would you put an orphanage here? And before you say, well, the Lunar Cry left plenty of orphans, that was a lot longer ago than a couple uh, decades. Because the view is great. I mean, maybe the land was cheap. <laughs> yeah, okay. Someone has to mellow. It's a lighthouse. But yeah, sorry for the massively extended rant here, but this is just... Most of these parts of the story just do not make any kind of logical sense whatsoever. This place looks familiar. Oh yeah, I'm not officially allowed to enter it because Galbadia Garden's over there. Which is also the next major story beat. Before that, though, I shouldn't have left Trabia Garden yet, because I want a rare card. Uh. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry. I'm feeling fine. Caustic. Then allow me, Hunt. It wouldn't work, Avada. They wouldn't burn long enough. And if you were thinking of an even worse joke than that, Hunt, I don't know how I can help you. <laughs> In the most passive-aggressive manner possible. Fair point, Belia. Wow, Treffles. <laughs> uh, God damn it, I lost my way. That's no, much further to the east. But yeah, I needed to get that rant off my chest because this is one of the portions of the story that just really bugs me. And one of the reasons why I do like the Squall is dead theory, purely on the basis of... Yeah, Squall needs someone to connect with quite desperately, and thus he concocts a theory in his own brain... ...where they all knew each other except Renoa, because she's the new love interest, essentially. Jesus, Hunt. <laughs> yeah. That's also very fucked up. Yep, yep, I know. Don't worry. I'm not taking you to task for it, but it's still very fucked up. Alright, you play the card I need. I didn't actually expect that to work. I feel really wrong-footed right now. Okay. I think I won. Selfie, let's go to that coffee shop and have lots of cheesecake again. Yeah, apparently there's a coffee shop nearby. There we go. Yeah, there's cards of all the characters. Don't ask how they got these printed, because that just adds all kinds of unfortunate questions. <sighs> Sorry, it's really stuffy. Ah, 
I mean, if you want to make it even weirder. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. I renamed Angelo and all the GF. That is correct, Hunt. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Let me think. Yeah, there's not much else to do other than to actually immediately uh, do the Ga Galbadia Garden storyline and find some new bosses. Who's up for that? Uh, you can only go there with a the Ragnarok. At least I'm pretty sure. Do I want to know? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, I lost my chat one moment. Let's see, because the Deep Sea Research Center is around here in memory serves. Found it. Yeah, I'm not able to land. Dungeons, plural. And I have three games named Dungeon. And it's expansion, because, but part one is kind of shite. Basically, if you like dungeon management sims a la Dungeon Keeper, this is a good game. Very silly. And the narr narrative voice for this one, I'm not sure if you've ever played Dungeon Keeper, but in the Dungeon Keeper games you had a mentor character who uh, essentially... Uh, did all the warnings for you and provided snide commentary for every level description. The voice actor who did fulfills the mentor role in Dungeons 2 and 3 is actually Kevin Brighting, the voice of um, the Stanley Parable. Which really works well for that role, let me tell you. I can show you at some point if you like. But yeah, I can't do anything with the Deep Sea Research Center. Completely different style, but yeah, fair point, Brian. Kind of wanted to save first. My dude, take a look. What do you think? I probably know we're here too. If not, we'll make the first move. The battle is inevitable. Sorceress is with him, huh? So this is going to be the final battle? I hope so. Also, by the way, can I just note... Fisherman's Horizon installed a new steering system for Balam Garden. That is, according to them, dead easy. I can't think of any way to steer something that would be more stupid than this. <laughs> what should I do first? I have to give orders to everybody. It's my responsibility. I have to try to keep it simple. If I gave up too many orders, it could lead to chaos. That's apparently the steering mechanism for this thing, uh, Smiley. I think it's mostly him taking the piss, Kebab Thief. That is very much his stock and trade. What should I say? Come on, think. There's no time. 
Okay, let's see. Prepare for the attack, prepare a defense, and take care of the junior d class. Give out your orders when you're ready. This is my dude speaking. This is an emergency, so listen carefully. We're going into battle against Galbadia Garden. First and second class sabers assemble in the parking lot. Those with MG rank 3 or above head for the second floor deck and await instructions. Be sure to warm up. Yeah, that is an option, Stripes. The enemy will probably come aboard. We must concentrate our forces at the front gate and the quad. If your student ID number is even, report to the quad. If it's odd, report to the front gate. Those who have student ID numbers ending in with an 8, take care of the junior class man. Come on, my dude. Um, hello? Oh. I thought I was part of the gang. Sorry about that. Why am I always the old man out? Because you're a cunt. Woohoo! Garden versus the Sorceress! The final battle! This is so exciting! After we just learned our past. What do you want us to do? I want you guys to help me lead the others. When Zell gets here, we'll divide into two teams. Zell? Um, I think he's taking a nap. Did I mention some of the story beats in this are absolutely asinine? Yeah, he said he hasn't slept at all lately. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. It's our little secret. We're literally about to go into a fight for our lives. Could we fucking not? We don't have any time. I'm going to go check the quad. Who's coming with me? As ever, I'm bringing the lowest level characters, so instead of Zell, I guess I'll bring Quistus. Irvine, find Zell. You guys work together and lead the team at the front gate. Alrighty. Still have some time, so don't bother equipping your GF yet. Alright, let's go to the quad. Alright, what about mistake? Mistake. You guys take care of her. The only deer in Final Fantasy VIII. What are you doing? What's your status? Indirect magic operative, level two, sir. You're a first class MG. Report to the deck immediately. Yes, sir. What about you guys? Fire Platoon, level 3 trainee, sir. He's a Fire Platoon. Fire Platoon, level 1 trainee, sir. Rescue Team A, Medic, sir. You two head for the deck. Medic, report to the defense team. So where did Squall suddenly learn to lead essentially an army? I'm not allowed to play guards at this juncture, shockingly. I'm late, I'm late! Report to your positions. Yes, sir. I mean, fair. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. He has been studying for this. Oh, yeah. The only time in the game that you see the classroom from this perspective. 
which is kind of neat. Look, I finally mastered the Firaga class magic! Pay attention or you're going to burn yourself. And I can't get around that one kid. I'm scared a little. Being nervous will reduce your fighting ability by 20%. Just relax. Some people would say that feeling nervous or stress would actually heighten your performance. I can't do it! I'm too nervous! Yeah, you rat. Okay, so that provision staff was late last time. We left the classroom and she's back here again and still late and still running. She's actually running in circles around this floor of the garden, isn't she? Sir, please use this. How are you carrying a whole house? How am I carrying a whole house? You're supposed to be in the classroom. I'm helping to distribute items to our troops, sir. I'm gonna go hand out potions to the strike force now. Actually, it's, uh, it is an item that's uh, had a long history in the series, uh, Kebab Thief. Basically, Final Fantasy always had tents, because, you know, you're going out into the world and you bring a tent with you to uh, uh, sleep. But they later on decided to also add cottages as an upgraded version of the item. They aren't in all the games. Oh, I can make it worse, Belia. One moment. Did Final Fantasy 1 have houses? Uh, Final Fantasy 7 never had cottages. And not all the Final Fantasies had a reason for it. For example, Final Fantasy 7, a tent restored your HP and MP to full. What would cottages do more than that, for example? Whereas in this case, um, cottages also heal all your GF. They get you laid. Thank you. I, I needed that. But you get the idea, Kabab Thief. Not every Final Fantasy had a use for uh, cottages. Heck, later Final Fantasies dropped the concept entirely. Final Fantasy X didn't even use them because in Final Fantasy X, touching a save point healed you to full. Which kind of made the existence of various inns which allowed you to sleep there for 100 gil completely freaking redundant because there was invariably a save point outside of any inn. Which is fantastically funny. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy XII just did away with the concept of uh, staying in an inn altogether. You touch a save crystal, you're back to full health. Done. Final Fantasy 1 had tent cottages. I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy 1 had sleeping bags, which allowed uh, smaller heals. Final Fantasy 9, strangely enough, didn't have cottages, but tents didn't count as a full heal. They only healed half of your maximum HP and MP, so if you were really low, you needed two tents for a full heal. Oh, Final Fantasy 6 had sleeping bags. Oh yeah, and they were for individual characters rather than uh, the full party. Was it too tense for you? <laughs> Sorry. How can you tell that they upgraded all the character models but not the static uh, NPCs? <laughs> Sorry, 
But everyone who is currently moving around looks highly detailed, and these people look like they would still pull through a pixel blender. <laughs> because they're just non-interactive static images. <laughs> Same for this lot, they look absolutely horrendous compared to the rest. Out of place much, guys! <laughs> I actually find that kind of funny. It's one of those weirdnesses that happens when you uh, upgrade a game's character models, but can't upgrade all of them. <laughs> exactly, Grevels. <laughs> Ratchet came through here, pixelized half of Garden, and called it good. <laughs> I am sweating like a pig. Out of curiosity, actually. Yeah, we're already up to 84% humidity. That'd about do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even eat that much today. Any new scores? The enemy will most likely come in through the front gate and the quad. The save point is up and running, sir. Wait. How do you know what a save... How do you, but what purpose would reasons box and also hide box? What purpose would a save point serve in universe? I have so many questions about this one throwaway line. Yeah, but Final Fantasy VII mentions it only once, and they mention it in the tutorial section. Literally in the training hall, which is literally the tutorial area where they explain to you what a save point is. It's later on? And your memory is either worse than mine or better than mine, because I can't think of it. I uh, will do in a few, Gadget. I'm so excited to serve on your team. Don't be. It's gonna be very grim. We gotta win this one. Yeah, I don't remember the save points being mentioned outside of the tutorial room, and in the tutorial room, I can forgive it because you know. It makes sense there to at least explain what the crap a save point is, and they kept it a little bit in universe. Okay. The entire training room in uh, Final Fantasy VII makes no real da damn sense if you uh, consider it an in universe thing. And again, attack of the pixel folks. <laughs> True! Now you mention it, Drevels. You actually see Oaka fleeing from uh, Makalania Temple by uh, teleporting away using the save point. Also, I get the feeling that young lady wants to get by me, but can't she just run around me? You don't seem very efficient at your job, dear. That's fair, Kazi. I'm going on for a little bit uh, yet because my break time isn't uh, here yet. And I try to be a little bit more rigid about it. It doesn't always work. You guys are over here! Back up the advance guards! Why the fuck are you here and not sleeping? Yeah, 
Yeah, I wonder why these people haven't gotten upgraded character models. The only thing I can think of is that because they were never interactable in the first place, they are actually just static images rather than uh, NPC models. All right, listen up. This is the big one, guys. We gotta win no matter what. Yeah, tell those pixels what to do, Zell. Sup, my dude? I got this place covered. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, yeah, your announcement woke me up. My student ID is even, so I'm supposed to be here, right? Yo, my dude, come here for a sec. What? Did, what? It's about your ring. We're about to fight for our lives against the sorceress, Zell. Is this the time, Zell? Why are you doing this now, Zell? This might not be the time. Correct! But... What is it? Give me your ring, will you? I just want to borrow it for a while. And now you're making it weird. I'm not losing or anything. Come on, what do you say? Why do you need it? Uh, I can't tell you that. Come on, just give it to me. You can trust me. What the hell? I like this ring. I guess it's alright if he just wants to borrow it. Wait, are you wearing it over your glove? Don't lose it. Yeah! Thanks, man! What the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't think you were going to give it to me! Mistake is going to be so happy! Uh... Mistake? Alright, my dude, leave this place up to me! No, 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 we are not ending this conversation here. God fucking, I hate you so much. Guys, I'm going to fight too. I don't want to just hide. I know I can fight. I want to fight alongside everyone. Wait, where, where is Renoa? She's talking right now, but where is she? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had control at this point. So, like, they might come in from here, eh? And we definitely can't give up this place. I hope this is the last time we have to fight in our home. Yeah. He wasn't taking a nap. The others were covering for him doing something. And it was their little secret, which is, you know, the exact kind of thing you want to tell your commander as you're about to go into a massive fight. I have to fight t to prove to myself that I can do it. That I belong with you guys. Take care of yourself. Oh, look. Renoa has taken her place among the pixels. And has also gone completely non-interactive. So, uh, okay, yeah, now stop. Okay, yeah, okay. My dude, get back to the bridge right now! Zell, I'm counting on you. Good luck, everyone. Time to get it on! Look! I still love the fact that literally nobody's even going, Holy shit, Galbadia Garden is also a flying missile shelter? Literally nobody. Everybody just goes, Oh, there's Galbadia Garden. Cool. Let's attack it. How is nobody surprised at this? Why has nobody even battered an eyelid? Cypher's in charge over there. They're heading right for us. We already saw it in Balam. And then nobody batted an eyelid then either. <laughs> Literally nobody in Balam went, holy fuck, is that Galbania Garden? I didn't know that could do it too. Uh, Zell finagle Squall's ring, which I still don't understand. Also, Nida, your shoulders look like they will hurt. Ugh. might have battered one while you were away. I mean, maybe, but again, 
This game does an absolutely atrocious uh, version of show, don't tell. It doesn't show anything, and to be honest, it also doesn't tell anything. <laughs> Just keep going. Yes, this is an excellent steering system. Of course, now we get to the <laughs> the ultimate weapon of the Galbadian army. <laughs> The greatest idea that anyone's ever had. Jet motorcycles! <laughs> this is entirely practical and cannot lead to any problems whatsoever. Why did they have jet motorcycle launchers installed on the off chance that they might have to drive onto Ballam Garden? It's just... What? <laughs> It's unquestionably kind of cool, but it's also utterly stupid. <laughs> it does tell you that Laguna is Squall's dad. You just need to talk to the right person at the right time. I have never once managed to talk to the right person at the right time then, Ray. Literally never. Please let me know which the, who the right person at the right time is. Please. Because I genuinely have never once seen that line. Also, I like how that guy does a full circle there for no apparent reason. Every time he pops up on screen. Whee! Bye! Sorry, Kazzy, but you knew what you signed up for when uh, I was playing this again, when this was voted in. Go straight ahead to the left. We got to stop them coming in. Don't forget to keep your give. Right, that's why uh, the game told you to not junction yet. Whee! Also. How many Galbadians on motorcycles do they have? Kiros tells you. Okay, I'm going to have to check that. Come on, they're dead ahead! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Mistake. Here you go. I got it from my dude. Like I said, I'll make you one just like it. Till then, hold on to it for me, will you? You know what? Fair point, Kevin. <laughs> what did you say to him? I just told him to hand it over. It looks cool, but it's too big. I don't like you're gonna wear that one. Come on, let's go! I like that. Come on, let's go! Instant fuck up. This is why we don't trust Zell with anything. Damn it! I can't reach her! Let's find something to pull her up! Mistake! Hold on! We'll be right back! We will not be right back. In fact, it is now 22.02. Come on! Isn't there anything we can use? <laughs> I'm already maxed out. Also, I don't want to get any. Actually, a bit of experience won't be a problem. Next. <laughs> I 
And you know how that would go, Kazzy. Specifically... Spoink. <laughs> it was inevitable and you know it. My dude, they're coming in from the front gate! Yo, Squall, we have a small problem? Squall? Dude, oi, Squall! Okay. My dude, mistake's in trouble! We gotta hurry! Damn! My dude, listen up! The enemy's attacking the classroom! The junior classmen are there! We have to do something fast! The enemy's heading this way! My dude, did you hear me? Yeah, but she's not the only one in danger! Didn't think you were so heartless, my dude. Mistake's gonna die, don't you realize that? Irvine, you are not really helping. We have to divide into three groups. Who should come with me? Uh... Selfie, you go with Stu. Quisis, Irvine with me. We'll head for the classroom. Zell, you help Mistake. Do whatever it takes, alright? Leave it to me! Why did Zell strike a pose? Point. Okay, let me switch the GF around again. Zell staff back to Squall, and Renoa staff is not going to be used for a while, so... My dude, go to the 2F classroom! The enemy is coming in from the sky! Where else would they be coming from? Tunneling through the ground? Remember, the time was originally 22.02. Renoa has now been hanging there for three minutes. This is unavoidable. I cannot actually go and save Renoa. See, while still kind of ludicrous, this is a lot more sensible than the motorcycle idea. Correction. This is slightly more sensible than the motorcycle idea. See, now it's a lot more sensible than the motorcycle idea. Although, why would you abandon your kick-ass jetpack? Ah, fair. <laughs> wow, we moved those desks fast! Dispose of this garden as planned! Dispose?! You little seed twerps! this in style. You gentlemen are in my classroom. Let me show you what an instructor does when you threaten her students! <laughs> seed, re seed Revels confirmed. <laughs> what, Smiley? Well, that was easy. See, that looks a great deal less like shivering and fear, and a great deal more like training for a certain... Moving on. It's too dangerous here. Go to the infirmary. Good work. Take them somewhere safe. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. Let's go. My dude! My dude! Now what? 
I don't come up to the bridge. Dr. Kadawaki's here. Why the fuck isn't she in the infirmary? Donk. Wait, how did the garden get behind us? It hurts! It hurts! Stop slapping the ground. <laughs> Female student, ID number 16. Are you okay? I can't believe they did this. Well, technically they were just floating there. We were attacking them. <laughs> Our garden. We're finished. I have no idea, Belay. Help me. I sent you to the infirmary. Why are you here? And again, Renoa is still hanging there. So, basically, she's got strong arms, if nothing else. What's the situation? We were able to stop the first two waves of the attack. But our forces aren't looking too good. Many are injured. If they send another wave, I don't know if we can hold them. How's your team? Bad. They're barely holding them off. So, looks like this is it. Their garden has more experienced fighters. D excuse me? Their garden doesn't even have seed. Or, apparently, GF. Why the fuck aren't we busting out the massive super monsters? Why are we this stupid? Ha ha. On the other hand, most of our troops are students who are still in training. Oh, okay. Like my dude said, one more wave and we might be finished. Maybe I should have focused on attacking in the beginning instead of concentrating on our defense. That's another good option, Kazzy. Just open the freaking training hall. Problem solved. Cypher is with them, right? You said it yourself. There's no way you can run from him. It's kind of like your destiny to face him. No, it fucking isn't. Looks like it's now or never. You've come this far already. What's there to think about? You're not going to run away, are you? Never. There's no way I'm going to run from him. Besides, attacking them might be our only chance. The only problem is, how are we going to board their garden? Say, how about we crash into their garden? I know it sounds crazy, but at least we'll be able to get in. The pilot's been ramming us all along. I'm sure Nita can do it too. We have no choice. Let's do it. Where's mistake? Sorry, man, there's nothing I can do. There's no way to get to the quad. Those bastards at the area barricaded. And the only way we can get to her is by going over the roof or flying there. Mistake. Well, wait a minute. You just gave up on her, didn't you? Listen, do me a favor. You go help Mistake. Maybe too late, but don't give up until you're certain that there's nothing more you can do. I have to lead the attack. I don't care what you have to do or how you feel. Just do it, please, for mistake. Listen to Irvine, my dude. She's one of us. What are you waiting for? I can't believe you. Why are all of you d talking to me so slowly? Come on, my dude, please. It's got to be you. You're the one that has to save her. I'll take everyone inside Galbadia Garden. Don't worry, another place like the back of my hand. We'll clear a path. Once my dude arrives, we'll move in. Uh, you, uh, you hate my life. My dude, you're forgetting something very important. What? She, she's still hanging. Why are we do? She's still hanging there! Talk to your men, my dude. Encourage them. As their leader, it's your duty.
You probably don't know, but everyone in this garden looks up to you. They like you. Why? Also, why is your steering column still working fine without you hanging on to the stupid thing? Everybody, this is my dude. How's everybody doing? You're all probably too tired to even stand up after all the fighting. But I want everyone to listen to me. We still have a chance to win, and I need your help. This is going to be our final battle. We're going to attack them before they come in again. To do that, we're going to head straight into their garden. So I want everyone to prepare for a major collision. Take care of all the junior classmen. Irvine, Quistus, Zell and Selfie will lead the attack into their garden. Bro Chacho? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream, Gunther. As for everyone else, please support them if you can. Seed was formed to fight the sorcerers. At least that's what I heard. And Garden is created to train Seed. So this battle is Garden's destiny and also our destiny. On that note, where the fuck is Seed in this? It's a grueling battle and I'm sure you guys are all exhausted. But I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want anyone to too quick text box. So just this once, I want you guys to give everything you've got for yourselves and for me. You did great. That was wonderful. Yeah, can I now go save Mistake? Okay, let's bash into them. Mistake is still hanging on the side of the garden. Nita, she's going to fall if you shock the garden like this. Nita, stop the... Oh my... She's going to die. Oh yeah, we're in! Ready guys? You betcha! Lots of lines. Let's rock! I mean, this is a point where he's allowed to strike a pose. Although I have no idea why Quistus and Selfie are T-posing. <laughs> why are Quistus and Selfie T-posing? <laughs> T-pose to assert dominance! <laughs> Sorry, but what? I don't usually let this screen go go on. Why are they T-posing? <laughs> sure, okay. <clears throat> For that matter, why are the soldiers going? But yeah, now that I'm finally out of all the conversations, uh, Gunther von Strahlen, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you'll, get, you'll enjoy your stay here. I'm taking the piss out of everything, so don't worry about me taking the piss out of things. This is fairly standard for me. Once I finally save Mistake, otherwise my timer will, go, will be off. Please help me! Mark is gone! Please help me find him! Alright, number eight. I know no better. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I have no choice. Wait here. Okay, where the crap is that Mark kid? Yes, I have a water robe. Oh, right. That's the kid in question, you stupid little. There, he'll mark. Uh -huh. I get that they want to make him look afraid, but he's just slapping the ground like an angry seal. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, kid, you alright? Yeah! 
There's a person waiting for you down the hall. I want you to go over to her, okay? Yeah. Ah, yes. The stupidest minigame in the game. Ow. What should I do? I think it would look around for another option. See, this guy kept his uh, jetpack, and it works just fine for him. Now, you're supposed to do this fight, keep your health up, and win in what feels like a rock paper scissors mini game. Whilst there are essentially loading triggers in the middle of the cutscenes. And the game doesn't tell you but you're also on a timer. If you don't win on time, you actually just game over automatically and you start with lower health because the game automatically hits you at the beginning and avoidably. Basically, this minigame is bullshit, and complete RNG luck. I have n And I won, and he is dead. Very good. Hey, Donny. I mean, it's very impressive, but it's not a good set piece to do these kinds of, uh, fights in. You see the pretty green boy I sent? I don't think I did. Give me a moment. You just randomly button press. So, 18 minutes she's been hanging there. Over there, there's the entrance. Run to the left. <laughs> This is fine. See, that's why you don't do fights on motorcycles, folks. My dude. Thank you. It was... Nah, don't worry about it. Plot armor. It was my job. We're still under contract. And it was everybody else's idea, too. I, for one, just, you know, wanted to keep actual people alive. And I just happened to find you, that's all. <laughs> I'm curious. Holy crap, that looks good. And that's in progress? Oh yeah, the staircase on the left is a little bit unfilled. You know something? I couldn't afford to fall off that cliff and die. I have something very important that belongs to you. I can't die until I give it back to you, right? Zell gave it to me, see? I've been holding on to it. I'm gonna fucking kill him. See? <laughs> That's my favorite ring. You better give it back. I'm sure it is. It's a cool looking ring. What's this monster on it anyway? There are gunblade users with seed uniforms in that scene. <laughs> really? We're bringing back Twat and Wanker? Fine. It's not a monster, it's a lion. Lions are known for their great strength and pride. Mm, 
bring strength, pride. Kind of like you, my dude. Well, I did junction Ultima to my strength, so I guess. Not sure about pride, though. I wish. Hmm, so this lion of yours, does it have a name? Of course. And again, Gunter, I am very sorry for this if you do love this game, but this is my chat. Actually, Kazzy also absolutely loves this game, and she still wants me to name it Wanker. Just, you know, figure it out. And Evie, thank you for those. So that's what you call it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't really respect anything. You know, Zell Zel said he'll make me one exactly like it. Who knows, maybe I can become like a lion too. I really, really wish that the game would say... Who knows, maybe I can become like a wanker too. That'd be crazy, huh? I mean, everyone might, you know, get the wrong idea about us. Renoa, could you be any more freaking obvious? If it's so crazy, why do you sound so delighted? Everyone's trying to get us together. It's so obvious, even I can tell. And that's saying something. You sound like you want everyone to get the wrong idea. No, 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 no! Yes. Well, everyone's waiting. Also, let me quickly double check something. Nothing. Also, I am absolutely sweating like a monster, so as soon as I have control back, I am going to take my break, because this is disgusting. Mistake. Let's go. Okay! My dude, let's go! That's what I just told you. Fun fact. There's actually a draw point here in the distance. Which normally has aura, but this is... Uh, not the right place for that. Anyway! Um, as noted, I'm going to take a short break. Um, I really need to towel off. This is genuinely disgusting. I don't know... Well, I do know why I'm so overheated. Let's see the actual humidity. We've gone up to 87%. Excellent. And for funsies, the temperature isn't going to drop between 20 degrees Celsius tonight, and it's going to be 25 with... Uh... I'll be back in a couple minutes. See you soon. Help me. And I return. Unrelated family stuff, but still private. I shouldn't have shown that on stream. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, um... Oh, Italy just scored. Whoa, I guess. <laughs> Congrats, Italians. Sorry to hear it, English people. I mean, in your in your defense, Care Vader, if the if Italy scores one more time, the asshole next door will be shouting obscenities for a while yet. But you might get a good night's rest. Now let me get back to the game. Also, let me get the walkthrough again because Galbadia Garden is an absolute maze, and I refuse to go through it without a walkthrough these days. Never quite understood why they decided to contract MC Escher to design this place. Mistake! You're here. Are you alright? My arm hurt a little. The sorcery should be here somewhere. No turning back now. Have I had a headache from a lack of salt? I very frequently suffer headaches, so I had them looked into, and according to my doctor, that at least is not one of the causes. Forget about the past. She's our enemy now. Don't think twice for a second. Don't think twice. What's that from again? Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3. There's no way we can fight her like that. I, for one, can't. 
She chose to fight and became our enemy. We chose to fight back. We have no choice. At least I'd like to think so. Time to play airsoft? Seems like I'm the only one confused. <laughs> We've come this far. I guess there's no need for me to say anything. We're still listening. My dude, we want to know how you feel. Yeah, I'm still working up to actually sharing emotions, Renoa. D don't, don't actually do too... Don't, don't push it too hard, please. I'll tell you later. <laughs> After we all get out of this. Let's go. Okay, who do I bring? Who are the lowest level party members? I guess I'm bringing Quistis and Zell? No, Selfie and Zell. I'm bringing Selfie. Zelfie? Yes, that was my phone, sorry. Um, Quistis, you have the magic stuff and you have the strength stuff. Although the difference is very minuscule right now. Okay, there's a lot of shit to do in Galbadia Garden. Among others, we need to find the randomized version of Cerberus. Oh, by the way, uh, Gunter, in case you're wondering, I am running a randomizer version of Final Fantasy VIII. So, as you can see, I already have a couple of GF that I should really not have. And, well, how can I put this nicely? Abilities that I normally really should not have. <laughs> But there's also a good chance that at some point one of the bosses turns into goddamn Omega Weapon, so... Yeah. <laughs> and the rest are completely non-communicative. Cool. I'm sorry for the spam. Hmm? Oh! Um, actually, Norny, it wasn't just you that made my phone go off. Oh! Oh. Why would you be sorry for any of this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Or this. Okay, that was it. So, no, don't be sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I was also getting spammed by a family member with ideas, so you weren't the only one to make my phone go bling, 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 bling. And the uh, randomizer, Gunter, in this case, it generates a randomized seed at the very beginning. And I've been playing on that since then. It's also why my GF have randomized ability lineups. I've also doctored them a little bit, but sadly I haven't found a good source of amnesia greens yet. I mean, if I really wanted to break the game, I also have Call Shop. I could, for example, um, let's see, buy magic ups here and just cheerfully max out everyone's stat. And yes, I do have 2.6 million gil. It is very easy to make a lot of gil when you randomize everything, as it turns out. I do think the randomizer needs some more balancing, because... I mean, Final Fantasy VIII was always really easy to break in half in terms of balance. But the randomizer made it really easy to break in half. For reference, the way I broke the game in half, I can put Shaman Stones here at 3750 gil. Then, I can go to GF Ability Medicine Refine, go back to those Shaman Stones, and turn them into Rosetta Stones. Which I can then... <laughs> Where are they? Ah, yes. Sell back for 18,750 gil a pop. So that's quintupling my gil. This is fine. <laughs> uh, 
And now I have 3.8 million gil. So yeah, money has just been made completely and utterly irrelevant in the randomizer, thanks to that random bit. Uh, let me make that a turn. Ooh, that sounds like an idea. Yes, and thank you. Once I have enough money, I may very well just grab that. Because the humidity is absolutely killing me right now. Anyway. Let us... I lost the walkthrough again. One moment. Sorry about the constant alt tabbing, folks. <laughs> But yeah, Evie, how have you been? I hope you're doing well. Because you dropped in just before I took my break, so I didn't even ask. And I feel a bit rude. And for that matter, I hope you're doing well as well, Gunther. Also, do I need to pronounce your name with a German accent, or do I just need to call you Gunther? Nothing. All's fine. Fair enough. I just find it important to pronounce everyone's names the way they prefer it. Lock one. Lock two. But yeah, cheers for that, tear Pant. Also, I'm running away from most fights because I don't actually want to gain any experience. But enemy drops are also randomized, by the way. Encounters aren't randomized. The uh, randomizer just cannot randomize every single enemy uh, group in the game, sadly. Oh, right, and I'm using a music mod because this is the original PC version, so it's either the, P the MIDI version or hearing this intro every time a fight happens. Sorry about that. <laughs> Nothing. I prefer that his name was not pronounced you little shit. I don't think I've ever called you that, Mortis, in my defense. Oh good, it's you two, Johnny's. Fatigued. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's get it over with, you know? Request. We'll even cipher up to you now, you know? We don't know what's going on anymore, you know? We just want the old cipher back, you know? Cipher. He probably thinks he can't go back now. All right. Okay, they don't say anything else. Let me just double check. Yada yada. Also, while I like the basic idea, these screens and keyboards can't be very ergonomic. With the way they're fixed in the wall. <sighs> Hello. Th her speech pattern is never really explained, Matty. She just yells a lot. Please don't kill me, I'm not your enemy! Bastard stormed in during class and just took over this place. Most of the students were kicked out then. You guys came out to fight, fight the sorcerers, right? Here, you can have this. I know two other students are hiding somewhere. They also have card keys to open the restricted areas. Be careful, guys. <laughs> yes, I can play cards. Wow, he plays boss cards. Good on you.
Was this an entirely pointless activity? Most certainly. Do I care? Most certainly not. Okay, that's just a dead end. Well, McTribble is an enthusiastic eater, uh, Mortis. Uh, no. The only unique cards are the GF and character cards, Spear Force. Oh, and technically the poo poo card, because you can never get more than one. It's spelled P U P U, but yes, sure. Oh, by the way, Gunter, one last thing about the randomizer that may be considered just a little bit broken. I have a hundred the ends on all characters. Oh. And I have a hundred catastrophes and apocalypse on all characters. This is fine. Now, where are my percent? Oh, there we are. You get the basic idea, Hunt. I have a lot. In fairness, I try not to use the end because that's just cheating. Unless I run into a mandatory fight against an Omega weapon, which I will lose because it's impossible to win with my current stats, I'm not going to use those spells. Really? I missed? Oh god, Revelations 2012. It is a lovely spell to you. But I'm trying not to gain any, too much experience because I want to stay in low level ranges. <laughs> is there anything here? No. Okay, I've checked all the rooms on this floor. Plebrate. Exactly. I mean, I could feasibly go up to level 30 plus because I don't have level up, but I do have access to level down. So, you know. Look. That quote is entirely appropriate. Why is it lately that every time I have a new person in chat, you guys just spam the quote command? It weirds them out! Maybe. It might also amuse me, in which case, amuse them, in which case keep going, but seriously. I have said some weird shit over the years. Most of which I don't remember the context for, or why on earth I would say any of that. You said weird. On occasion, yes. That's not weird shit. That is entirely appropriate and accurate shit. <laughs> of course, it had to be quoted. <laughs> Right. There's actually a unique encounter here that not many people know about because you can just run to the end and then you're done.
Let's see if I can get it. Galbadia Garden is very well furnished with sports areas, uh, Matthew. Hello. One moment, let me take off uh, encounter, uh, encounter her. Oh, I know the context for that quote. Jesus Christ, Revelation 2012 was shit. So, yeah. This is a fight here. Nobody knows why, but there you go. <laughs> really, Matty? But I'm not sure if I'm being attacked by Ice Hockey or Freddy Krueger. Oh, right, I can't card them. That's a problem. A member of Galbadia's Garden's Demi Human Ice Hockey Club. Why does Galbadia Garden have that? I find that an important question to ask. Why does Galbadia Garden have a demi-human ice hockey club? What the fuck is wrong with this place? Yeah, I can't call them. You know what? Fine, we're killing it, killing him in style. Oh, yeah, whatever. Famous horror guy. <laughs> That's about all I know, Matthew, but thank you for the correction. Next! I do love Apocalypse, and I wish you could get it in the base game. Also, they apparently have later cannons, because why not? Locked? No, it's not. Oh, thank you, Bear Force. Unlock three. We don't stand a chance against them. You're our last out. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nothing. I think this was a life draw point. No scan. Oh, I need to restock a little. Yeah, they have their own ice hockey rink, because why not? Uh, that was an empty classroom, and that was a lock level 3, wasn't it? Or was it level 2? Never mind, it was level 2. Excellent. Oh. See, again, this place seems to be designed by MC Escher.
Oh yes, the girl is very important. <laughs> it was designed by Unseen University's faculty. If it was designed by Unseen University's faculty, I would have run into way weirder shit. <laughs> But yeah, Hunt, again, thank you so much for the suggestion of that dehumidifier. I'll be sure to uh, buy that as soon as uh, finances permit. cup of tea of the day, or at least of the stream. Actually, of the day as well, I need to go to bed on time tonight. Has anything changed in the football yet? What are the usual games you play? Uh, essentially, I'm all over the place, Gunter. I... Uh... I'm going through Final Fantasy VIII on my Sunday slot at the moment, but my Friday-Saturday slot is the new Ratchet & Clank game for PlayStation 5, for example. But it tends to vary between various RPGs, platformers, action games. Essentially, what I do is I play a game... Once a game gets chosen for the stream, unless it is abjectly horrible, I play it through start to fi finish. Sorry, hiccups. And then I put up a poll on my Discord for uh, next game. And I just select from a list of things that have my attention at the time. Oh no, wait, I've checked all uh, things on this floor, didn't I? Banjo-Kazooie is probably going to be on the list at some point, Arnie, definitely. But for the Friday-Saturday slot, I am a little bit torn at the moment. Because once I finish Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, I'm thinking of moving Final Fantasy VIII there, because there's still quite a lot of this game left. Alternatively, I'm putting Trails in the Sky 3rd Chapter up on the poll, and I expect it to win. I don't manipulate votes, I'm a completely de democratic tyrant. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, but snark aside, I'm just not entirely certain yet uh, what's going to be next. <laughs> but yeah, Gunter, if that's any answer to your question, basically, primarily platformers, action games, and role-playing games, but anything and everything that catches my interest and the stream's interest is the best answer I've got for you. Explorers of Sky is also going on a poll at some point, definitely. Essentially, I have a backlog, mostly thanks to my chat. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Smiley. One moment, I need to double check something quickly. Yeah, I need to go to the top floor. Nia is another one, because Caravader got me that. But yeah, remember how we said that this place has fairly decent sports faculties? They have fairly decent sports facilities. <laughs> ah, right. If memory serves, I can now go to the central area and get servers. Yeah, that's another option. Basically, there's lots of options. <laughs> and if you're curious, you're always welcome to join my Discord and join the community, of course. Though, since you're... You know, you're not here. Uh, you, you've just only just gotten here. There is absolutely no pressure. <laughs> Join us. 
Okay, now I know I've already fought Cerberus at some point, so I have no idea who this is going to be. So I am going to save first. Wrong flood. You still in for Black Widow tonight? Depends a little bit on how utterly sweat logged I am at the end of the stream, Narnie. But in basics, yes. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh god! Oh wait, I absorb everything thanks to my junctions. Never mind, this is adorable. Hi, try point. Oh shit, wait. He has siren shit! I may need to reset. Yeah, I need to reset. At least I just saved. What do you mean, cheater? Ah, uh, Stripes. I can draw Siren, which is an actual GF, so I kind of want that for the collection. Now I can kill it. And kill it, I did. Oh, that's just over the top, game! I think it's going to be dead. Yeah, I think I won. This is not Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, I already have a name for Siren, I'm sorry to tell you all. Because she can't sing for shit! She needs frequently to heal her throat. And I got Cerberus! Excellent! Okay, I'm going to let chat name Cerberus. <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> Can it be good girl? I mean, sure. For reasons. Everyone else okay with good girl? <laughs> because my dog was a girl. Okay, you know what? Fair, you win. No further questions. I was suggesting Big Puppy. But that was... Yeah. Okay, let's see what abilities they have. Siren starts off at level 3. Very good, dear. HP, Vitality... Ooh, not bad, actually. Mug! Holy crap, it took forever to get it, but there it is. I don't really need it anymore, but hey, it's nice to have. And level up! The last two abilities that I needed. 
Well, technically, I also want Encounter None, but I am very happy with this. If I never get Encounter None, I am still happy. Who needs mug? Just use a teacup. I use a teacup. A small one. Okay, let's see. You have four. You have three. So, you know what? You get to steal things. And you get to cuddle a dog. And I found pain. No, no, I, I dealt out pain. Oh, by the way, Gunter, one last giggle. You know how you get the uh, weapons monthly magazines that teach you uh, what weapons to make and what materials they cost? Well, the material cost is also completely randomized. <laughs> Which makes some completely re completely easy and some completely unreasonable. Let's see if I can find an unreasonable example. You know, this is fairly unreasonable. Just putting it out there. But, um... This is what it took for me to make Lionheart for Squall. It didn't take much effort, is all I'm saying. It did not take much effort. Ah, sorry, my nose is itching like a bastard. Okay. It requires rare items. Exactly. <laughs> the rarest. <laughs> I need five bullets, sir. Excuse me? Anything at the entrance? Nope. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll kill you because I don't like you. I also need 200 AP from Mook. By the way, can you guys hear my fan, or is it silent? Oh, I'm just not allowed to leave. Okay. Okay. That's all I needed to know, Hunt. <laughs> Here's the last car key. It'll open the lock on the elevator. The sorceress's room is on the top floor. Good luck, guys. Okay, let me just double check something. That sounds very high, Nani. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius, but it sounds like a lot. And this should lead back to the uh, previous area. Yeah. That is insane. That sounds very unhealthy. And why the hell does your office not have air conditioning? Jesus Christ, that's like preposterous as work hours, only in temperature format. How the f- Is it just that hot and is the air conditioning just unable to compete? Room. 
Okay, who's ready for me to challenge whatever Cypher turns out to be? <laughs> Still, 46 Celsius is absurd, Nani. Fair enough, I guess. Also, I wanted to quickly double check something. Okay, so it's nothing. Oops, I lost the walkthrough. I'm fine. Shush. Sorry for the old tabbing constantly. <laughs> Oh, you guys shouldn't have. I was going to come visit you at my old home. Shut up. Did you guys come to fight Matron after all that she's done for us? Hey, chicken wuss. Lots happened between us, eh? Yeah, I'm dying to get even. A selfie, right? I wish we had time to get to know each other. Nah, you're not my type. It's too late, Cypher. You can't mess with our minds. To us, you're just another enemy, like one of those monsters. You're comparing me to one of them? I ain't no monster. I'm the sorceress's knight. Sadly, that's just his personality, Katie. And look at you, attacking like a swarm. You guys are the monsters. Okay, let's see if he took a day in training or if he's pathetic. Huh. So, um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Cypher has taken a few tricks from <laughs> Sorceress of the Year, it looks like. <laughs> well, that's uh, a problem. <laughs> That's a bigger problem because I didn't heal. I wanted to stay in limit break range, but uh, probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Let's keep Renoa healed. Would you stop that? Don't you dare. Let me check her health. I like how because of the uh, way this battle arena is done, she doesn't even fit into the screen. That's actually a really good question, Arnie. Oh shit, I can't check her health. Also, for a sorceress, she looks remarkably manly. Not necessarily a problem, but whoa. I kind 
want to see what happens if I bring Renoa. Can I still spot a party swap at this point? Oh, nothing happened. Thank you. Magic powers are concentrated on Adele. <clears throat> oh. Right. She does that. Ha! Ah! Well, Cypher took a level in Badass, I'll give him that. Actually, let's stalk some. Well, first I need to build a glass dome on top of my current tower, but yes, other than that. Uh. Really, I just stole a spell from you right now. No need to be a drama queen. I forgot how much health Adele has. Timing is horrendous today. Shouldn't she be dead by now? Or am I underestimating her health that badly? Okay, I was underestimating her health, though. Never mind. can beat her. Depends on what she turns into. Yeah, she must have been really low, hunt. Just curious to see what I'll run into next. <laughs> oh shit, this is the wrong corridor. Uh, how do I get to the auditorium again? Oh, right. 
I'm being a silly person. What was that sound? Okay, hi. And bye. <laughs> I never had to. It's actually called a Death Claw, a recurring enemy in the Final Fantasy series, actually. First appeared in Final Fantasy V, I think? Or maybe six. No, five. Of course, I went the wrong way for the save point. Well, I just saved downstairs, it'll be fine. My dude! What's she doing here? It's dangerous. Hmm? Also, this is still quite an impressive cartoon. What's going on? Where did that draw point go? It just vanished. For its time, this was pretty impressively done. So the time has come. You're the legendary seed destined to face me. What's she talking about? I must say that I am impressed. An impressive nuisance. Your life ends here, seed. Worthless fool. You're not a matron. All seeds must perish. Awesome music time. Shitting hell! You thought Cypher bulked up? I'm not entirely sure how to feel about the fact that the camera is focused on his panties. Actually, I am sure how to feel about that, and it is not favorable. Oh, Grand Pandemona, have another GF. Okay, what's its status exactly? Yeah, Edia definitely had a couple of days at the GM. That's all I can say. You could be looking at the other side. That would also be very uncomfortable, true. Okay, where's my meltdown? And now its defenses are completely shot. And Eka, you're raiding, um, slightly more unfortunate camera angle, but how did your stream go? <laughs> In my defense, I can't help this camera angle. The game forced it on me. <laughs> but hello, Eka. Hello, General M. And hello, Boris. Thank you so much for the raid. And I hope you're doing excellent, excellent today. 24 out of 26. Nice. Which ones are you missing? For reference, the reason why I'm doing full damage... Is because the spell Meltdown has a 100% chance of inflicting the status called Vitality Zero. Nothing is immune to it, and it literally just undoes everything's defenses. 100%. Which is absurd. Wow, Hans. Makes it really hard to time these crits now, but I think it's dead. No, it's not. Thump. Done.
It's very unfortunate, but the fight is over, so it's fine. Although the camera angle did make him rock hard for a second. I'm sorry. I am genuinely sorry for that one. <clears throat> Okay, what do we call Pandamana? <laughs> I'm proud you don't need us anymore. Kazzy's probably yelling at her screen instead of us. At me. Or that. Or she's doing that. That's always an option. I mean, I could just name it Blowjob and call it a day, but this is the wind GF for reference, hence the Blowjob pun. Ha ha ha, Blow. Name it Farsi. Dyson. <laughs> Fartnado. <laughs> Why farts? I actually really like the Dyson idea. Why Panda, by the way, uh, Dorney? Seems everyone wants to, it, wants to name it Dyson. Pandemonic Panda. Ah, okay, yeah, I see where you're going. In fairness to Nonny, I think Panda is getting a little overruled. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. Sold to the people in the lovely chat. You know what? Fair point, Nani. You get to name the next one. There is... There should be at least two more GF in the game. What happened? My body... Well, she's clearly fine. See? Fine. Mistake. No, no, you should get to... I think I have uh, some name tags that allow me to change names, Nani, so... We can always accommodate, because you are made of yay. And she's kissing him. Why is she kissing him? And welcome back, about the Mistake. Cypher? Ow. Mistake? Are you alright? My dude, quest is selfie. Irvine, Zell. You've all grown so much and become so strong. I've waited for this day to come and also feared this day would come. Is today a joyous day or an odious day? Where is Alone? Have I protected Alone? I don't understand. My dude! It's mistake. mistake. What's wrong with her? God, I wish I could stop sweating. I feel absolutely disgusting. Don't worry, Kebab Thief. Nobody does. Including the sorceresses themselves. Is it over? What happened? Mistake. What happened to Mistake?
My dude, can you hear me? Head to Idea's house at once. The sorceress Idea matron is back at the orphanage. Okay. Okay, let's see what Pandemona has. Uh, yeah, there's two more chances, Nani. One of them you might actually like name it. Pick a color for storage. Uh. Hmm. Wine red. <laughs> or Robotnik red, yes. Please have encounter none. Damn it! But yeah, Nani, one of the two GF that are left, GF that are left, is a uh, gigantic cactor. So if you want to name a silly cactus, now's your chance. Which other one am I still missing? Because I can't remember the last one. I'm missing Cactor and... Hmm. Bahamut. Bahamut. Which I'm afraid I am going to name because it's a big goddamn dragon, so it's going to get named Lash. I'm sure there's going to be some objection to that, but... I mean... <laughs> A giant cactus. Mr. Huggles! Yeah, I already remembered, Hunt. Don't worry. I'm afraid I have all of those already. I'll see if I can't find a GF name tag so that I can rename them. I'm entirely okay with that because the names are silly anyway. Ah, uh, no, that's only for Angelo, I think. What did you name J Doom Train? Chugger. Fair enough, Ronan. Enjoy your luck. Should have went with Thomas. Damn it. Hindsight. to challenge Headmaster Sid, who was not there for the entire battle with Galdania Garden. Which, incidentally, has now just completely vanished into the ether. Nobody knows what happened to it, where it went, just gone. Matron's back at the house. Where's our next destination? We'll see, Kebab Thief. If I can, I would like to give Nonny the opportunity to name a couple, because... Yeah, I, th I think Kazzy currently holds the crown of the uh, most names. And I feel a little bit bad because, you know, everyone should get a chance. She's never here, really? She's here often. I was about to say, that's a bit weird, Kebab Thief. Nani is here very frequently. She just can't always attend because, you know, life. When I'm paying attention, she's... That's, that's an important context clue right there. 
Also, I don't think I need anything from you, but let's just set something to learn. Yeah, it is not to be a jerk about it, but it does feel a little bit like you're basically uh, shoving Nani to the side because you don't always notice her. Careful there, that's not entirely kind. I feel uncomfortable seeing her. There's so much we want to ask the matron. Wasn't there a flower field here? Yes, yes there is. <laughs> you heard him, Nani. Eat fast. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. Huh. That's an unchanged draw point. Yeah, and Norni, as ever, that is hugely appreciated. Many thanks for your hard work. <laughs> Are you angry with me? Yes. <laughs> I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble, I run away. I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would mean the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please forgive Adia. <laughs> I like how she's hiding behind Sid. Oh. <laughs> my children... Please forgive me. I praised you as my own, yet still, I... We feel the same way. We fought you too, knowing you were our matron. Matron? You are seed. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. You were magnificent. However, it is not over yet. At any time, I may... I like how the conversation just randomly stops there. Please listen to what Adia has to say. Who knows when she may be possessed again. Then why do you just suddenly stop talking and give me control? So that I can play cards with her. Sadly, she plays with a random rule, so the card that I really want is going to be a bastard to win. So I'm not going to bother to try that on stream. Especially because I just got obliterated by a rule that I still don't understand to this day. Okay. Possessed all this time. Oh, that's an easy excuse. I was at the mercy of sorceress Ultimisha. Which, can I just note, painfully generic name. <laughs> Ultimisha is a sorceress from the future. A sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Ultimisha's 
objective is to find Alone. She's after Alone's mysterious power. I knew Alone very well. Altamisha is a very fearful sorceress. Her heart is filled with anger and hate and was led to the dark side. <laughs> there was no way I was going to let Altamisha get a hold of Alone. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Altamisha and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save Alone. And the end result? Well, you all know. I mean, I suppose, Revel. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was, in fact, Ultimicia inside my shell. Well, you should have cast Protect. And again, just give me control back. This entire conversation is one that is entirely with Idea. Idea keeps talking. But for some reason, every time about... After about five text boxes, she just stops and you need to speak to her again to get her to continue. I don't understand why. Pickle. Okay. Can someone note that down for Cactor? In case uh, Nonny's not there when I acquire it. Altamisha has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. Giggity. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that doesn't work... I may have to face you in battle once again. I ask for your support, young seed. Sure, kebab thief. <laughs> and again interrupted. Have you all heard of Sorceress Ad Adele? Is it Adel or Adele? I still don't know. Yeah, we killed her earlier in Galbadia Garden. She was the ruler of Estar during the Sorceress Wall. Wall? War. No one knows of her whereabouts. That's what I learned. Adel. Okay. But then it sounds like I'm playing East again, so I'm going to go with Adele. <laughs> Say, like, no. <laughs> the Galbadians must have thought I was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adele's power. However, that's not the case. I received the powers of the previous sorceress at the age of five. So, what does that mean? I believe Sorceress Adele is still alive, and that Ultimisha released my body in order to uh, to use the body giggity, of Sorceress Adele. And again, she just stops. Sorceress Adele is the type who will not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Ultimisha from the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Adele, their power would be unimaginable. And she stops again. Okay, thank you. My dude, I'm sure Matron has much more to say. I've heard enough. I understand that listening to what Matron has to say is important, but mistake. Matron, do you know what's wrong with Mistake? Mistake is the girl in light blue? I remember vaguely what happened to her. She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, her body was cold. She didn't move. That sounds like she's dead, Squall. Did Mistake die? No! Forgive me, my dude. I don't think I can be of any help. <laughs> and no coppers? What do you mean, no coppers? It's all right. My dude, I understand how you feel, but you are in a position of leadership. The other students at Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take whatever information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, it wasn't just mistake. Everyone fought. Our sources. <laughs> I understand, but... But, 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 that isn't something a leader should say. Said you literally ran away during the battle against Galbadia Garden. That isn't something a headmaster should do. 
You tiresome fuck. Oh, but it's going to penalties? Sad. Well, Tamisha's objective is to find a loan. First time we met was the day I became a seed. We met again. In Timber! See, I hate these kinds of scenes for voicing because I have no idea who's talking. The loan's mysterious power, sending one's consciousness back into the past. So, Altamisha wants to use Alone's power, right? I think that's Selfie, more or less, where she stood. We had a lot of arguments at first, but in time, things began to change. I get it. Altamisha wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. What are you going to do in the past? You were looking at me. I smiled when our eyes met. Time compression. Time compression? It made me feel calm. Tranquil. It's time magic. Past, present, and future get compressed. What's going to happen to the world? Why do something like that? Mistake. Give me another chance. Yes, this is... I understand what they're doing here. Squall having his own internal monologue whilst the rest are talking. But it's very awkward to voice. <laughs> I can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Yo, my dude! Oh, the rest is here too. You're not even listening! So basically, all we have to do is prevent Ultimisha from getting a hold of a loan. Yes, but... We're going back to Garden. We have to let everyone know. Hey, we're worried about Mistake too, you know? Then why don't you... Forget it! That about covers the update. Our task at hand is to find Alone, then we'll deal with Ultimisha. I believe that Alone is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. And Sorceress Idea is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy, enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. It's not like she orchestrated a campaign to take over a country and kill thousands, but, you know, she's probably okay now. Is Mistake in the infirmary? I'll go visit her later. I don't want to say this in front of Quistis and you, but I'm going to say it anyway in front of Quistis and you. I don't know if some people will be so forgiving. <sighs> Actually, no. Oh, I'm not allowed to... Uh... the penalties going. Oh, one all. I am going to go into wrap-up mode, because um, there's another fairly big story sequence after this. I can't do anything else. So I'm going to fight a couple of Cactor, and then I think I'm going to call it a day, because I am sweating like a pig, exhausted, and kind of need a toilet break. So let's... I'll do that quickly, and then fight some Cactor, and then wrap up. Back in just a minute. <laughs> And I'm back. Sorry about that. 
Let me get this one back. Your building is going to kill me? I see. I mean... I'm not forcing you to. <laughs> Apparently Nonny is modifying my tower, Kevin. <laughs> it's not a mess. It's a barely coherent hellhole. Yes. That's the answer to your question. Penalties are never going to end at this rate. And this is why I decided to go for a couple of fights here. Because I really want to learn Mug. Okay, in your case, I just don't really care too much what you learn, so I'll just go for whatever. Okay, I'm hearing yelling outside. How are the penalties going? Hmm, <laughs> three of them. I'll probably run away before I can kill them, but... Well, I live in the Netherlands, so here it wouldn't have mattered. And is it that bad over there, Kevin? I still love the slow movement that these things have. Oh, wait. Three of them! to mug and uh, admirably fair enough Kevin just best of luck
Good grief. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of football at the best of times, but this is getting ridiculous. And there we go. Let England go into frothing rage for a while, Italy go into frothing yay for a while, and then let's all forget about this like a bad hangover. Close my landing mug. Oh, I already finished. I'm very smart. Can't win them all. To those of you who were into it, I'm sorry to hear that England lost. To those of you who just wanted this whole ordeal deal to be over, well, with any luck after the ra frothing rage is over. Things will move on. Yes, kebab thing. Just the the tags in that URL make me worry to click that. Oh Jesus H Christ. Yeah, just the title of that article gave me a headache. Just going to ignore the rest of that. Okay, let's get encounter half. Okay, fine. I'll kill you three. To be honest, Kazi, I'm just kind of glad that the whole thing is over, but yeah... I don't envy anyone their position at the moment. But all we can do, essentially, is try to stay out of it and not cause too much trouble. Probably the best idea, Kebab Thief. Dear. 
Do I want to know, Hunt? Oh, in that sense, yeah. Everyone just needs to take care. Needs to be care, be safe, take care of themselves. I really hope nothing weird happens. Okay, let me change my rule set for card. Because there are only about three or four players that use center as rules, but I refuse to spread that random to the wrong region. But, it is 12 of the clock. I'm going to wrap it up here, because my energy has flagged to the point of non-existence. <laughs> I'll see if I can grab some energy, Nani, because I think it would be fun, a movie night. And yeah, to those of you wondering, Nani is holding a movie night. Um, just poke her and she will be able to get you an invite. But, for now, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all from me. I do want to thank all of you for coming, as always. You guys make my streams and my days a lot more fun. And after, frankly, being in a decidedly minor state of mind for the past few days. These streams have helped a lot. So seriously, thank you so much. And the only reason I'm looking away right now is because I'm trying to find a raid target. Uh, screw it, let's go raid Ch Chaos Hand. Just easy target. Really, is it that extreme, Hand? Jesus. Oh, well. Anyway, let's just go do the raid, because, frankly, I don't really want to talk about uh, the football anymore. <laughs> I hope everyone stays safe, I hope everything goes uh, well, but for now, I want to bid you all a very good night, hopefully an excellent week. Uh, as is the usual, tomorrow is going to be Trails Monday, Tuesday is most likely going to be Trails Tuesday with Lilinia. And next Friday, we will be back with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. But for now, I just want to bid you all a very good night. And I hope to see you next time. Good night.